Okay, guys, this is a project share. Um, Dana, if you don't want to see your album, honey, don't look because this album is yours. So, Dana, don't look if you don't want to see this. I know you like to be surprised. So, click out right now. <laughs> okay. I know she likes to be surprised, guys. That's how she is. She can come back and watch this after she receives it. So we're doing a personal swap, and it is a 6x6 six six album, okay? Now, this is my very first 6x6 six six album, and I made this out of a lasagna box. How awesome, right? And let me tip this up a little bit. Okay. I mean, we could do it however we wanted. I wanted to do hers with her favorite paper pad that she loves to use. So this is the one I used, Blush and Mint, and this is what she likes to use. It is double-sided paper, which made it convenient for the pages inside. I literally used almost a whole paper pad on this book. Like, there's one page of each, and there's a few that's not. So I even used the cut aparts in here, you will see. There is a lot of meaningful ones in here. So let's get into this album. There's lots to show you guys. So I'll start with the back. The back, I just did lots of layers of lace, guys. And I've got my signature here, of course, because I wanted her to be able to have this forever and tell who it's from, you know? And then the side here, I have included um, this key locket and a tassel. I did not make these tassels. I got those at Target a while ago. And I just put lace. And then I found these. Um, they're like thickers, but they're mixed media. They're really cool. And they're burlap. And I found those at... Um, Hobby Lobby, and I don't know if it's a new thing or what. Let me show you. They're really neat. You don't, I don't know, you get 42 alphabets, so there's quite a few in here. But they're called Mixed Media by Paper Studio. They're really neat, guys. If you guys are into that stuff, um, go pick some up. But I think they might be a new thing, because I've never seen them before. So, and I just put lace again, and this rose trim going down the side, which was also from Hobby Lobby. Very, very pretty. And then the front, I kind of focused on the big sheet of paper that is in here. Um, and it is this one, Love Each Other. I just love the way that is. Um, me and Dana's become really, really close friends, so I just love that girl. She helps me through all kinds of things in my life and crafty things and I just love her so I really focused on this book really well I just again have layered um, lace like lots of layers of lace um, I took these flowers that were gifted to me from somebody else I can't remember who now but they were gifted to me um, I took these um, butterflies that I had got at AC Moore that time we went. I've only been there once, but I got those, and I used those. I used some appliques, which I don't have many to choose from, but which ones I did have, I wanted to include a couple appliques. So I'm hoping to get some appliques. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to find a D-stash or something, but I just ain't having no luck. So let's open this album. As you can see, it's kind of chunky. Um, I don't think I'm going to close it with anything. I kind of thought about making a belly band or whatever. But I think it just looks cute setting up like that. So I don't think I'm going to close it with anything. If she wants to, she can. But Okay, so on the front part over here, I just don't forget to be awesome because Dana is so awesome. I used a little uh, crochet doily and a paper flower. Again, I put lace trim and this beautiful washi tape that I got at Hobby Lobby. I used that and a couple flowers up here. And I just think it's turning out gorgeous. I distressed all the edges with this picked raspberry distress ink. I still on my table is a mess, guys. I'm so sorry. 
Okay, well, let's get on to the pages. The first page I have just put Believe, and I put this beautiful trim here. You'll see lots of lace throughout this. I love lace, guys. I've been into lace. Um, I used that new washi that's from Hobby Lobby, and this is just a Dollar Tree sticker, and this one too. Um, I just love that, though. The paper is so gorgeous. Um, so, yeah. It's very pretty, and I left space for her to add pictures, or if she wants to journal or whatever. I didn't want to overdo the pages. I wanted her to be able to add stuff in it. And then over here, I have, and I put my favorite pink lace. You guys know I love that. And I put this little butterfly here, and it's so cute because it's a coffee time butterfly that I made. So I just wanted to add that because we always love coffee. And these little butterflies that I got, and a little flower, I went Castella it, and inside here I have just got a little note to her. And this was gifted to me, this little envelope, from the lovely Deb Hawk. So I used one of those, and this page I just pretty much focused on me writing a little note to her, so... And again, this beautiful washi, you'll see this throughout this um, book. And this one, it says, Life is an Adventure. And I just got this little baggie here, and I have gifted her some frames in case she wants to add frames throughout it or whatever and add pictures, however she wants to do it. So I gifted her some of those. And this is just that lace stuff from the Dollar Tree. I love that stuff though. You know, I didn't think I would like it, but I liked it. It's really cool. And another Dollar Tree sticker. Those stickers are so gorgeous, guys. This was the pack. I don't know if you guys have seen these ones or whatnot, but they are gorgeous. So I just picked my favorite ones and used in here. Again, over here, I took some ephemera and just put it here and put a flower i kept this one kind of simple that way she can add a picture on there that way you know i wanted her to be able to either add pictures or journal in it or something because that's the whole meaning of a album you know and then over here i love those flowers too so i know she'll love them because her favorite colors are aqua and teal so she'll love it here again, I just took a few flowers, um, lots of flowers throughout here because I'm going towards the shabby chic look, as if you guys can't tell. Um, I just done a waterfall of these, that way she can journal on the front and maybe add a picture on the back. And I thought that was cute, so I just kind of kept it simple and done that. That way she can add pictures, and if she wants to add something of her own to it, she can, you know. And then here I have included, these are them frames. I put a couple frames here, that way she can just put a picture in there. And I put lucky girl, and little things mean a lot. And I thought maybe she could put a couple pictures of her and her old man in there. So, or boyfriend, whatever you call him, I'm sorry. I always call my husband or boyfriend old man, so sorry if I offended anybody. That's not what I mean. <laughs> and so I just kept it simple and done the frames. And then over here I have included a bigger frame. That way, I don't know, she can include something. And this is still got to dry, guys. Like, I freshly just got this done. So it will look better tomorrow. And I love this little bird cage in Femra. This came from a Kane Company in Femra pack. And so did the trim underneath. And I thought that washi tape just... And it's funny because this was her favorite washi that she had picked out when I had a, done a haul. And she really liked this washi right here. So yes, um, I used that a lot throughout here as you can see. So I just added a little Michael's flower. You guys know those are my favorite flowers, and I'm blowing through them like crazy. So if anybody can find them, because I can't. I never can. I don't know why. So just kind of keeping it simple, but making it look pretty. And as you can see, we're at the halfway mark, because there's the binding. 
made it pretty. And then here, I kind of wanted to focus on our friendship here. So I love this big prima flower. I just had to add that. And this washi here says hello. And this says your friendship means the world to me. And it does. And she knows it. I love that girl to death. And then the back, I don't know. She can add a picture or something. And this one says, no matter how tall I grow, I will always look up to you. And I just love that because I'm always asking her questions and things like that. So I thought she would like that. And it just flips up. She can add pictures or she can journal or whatever she wants to do there, you know. And I just love that big flower, so I had to add that. And over here, I put friendship. And then I got a piece of that washi, and I thought it was cute to just leave it like a rough look like that. Again, another one of those butterflies, and this says, you genuine self, your genuine self is your best self. And I just added a little flower on there, a lace on the tr side here, and it opens with Velcro. And then I just threw some goodies in here for her, but what I was thinking is she can add pictures on here, so I just left it like that, and she can add pictures on there, or whatever she wants to do, but for now I just threw in some goodies for her that I know that she'll use. Okay, and next, I, Sharon Sherry had gifted me some of these dress forms, and I just love, love, love them, and they're going to be gorgeous with shabby chic stuff. So I used one of those, went Costello it, put a butterfly with some pearls, this beautiful two-layered lace with a flower right here, her favorite washi again, and I just think this is gorgeous. And she can add a picture, or she can do whatever she wants to this. And then over here, she's probably just going to keep it like this, though, if I know Dana. She'll just keep it for decoration. This, i done a waterfall. I took a flower here, and I forgot to wink a it, so I will wink a it. And I just made a waterfall with paper that I absolutely love. And then underneath, she can add something under there, too, you know? And this paper is, I love this paper, guys. So if anybody is wondering what paper I use, I use that blush and mint, and then I use this one. And this one is from Hobby Lobby, and you get 120 sheets, but it is 4 by 6 guys, 4 and a half by 6 So it is almost the size of um, an IC card, though, so that's perfect. I've used them lots. So yeah, again, I did a waterfall there, and then on the back, I just added a couple, I took that paper again and cut it down to make it look like a journaling card, and she can do whatever she wants with these, you know, and it's gorgeous how you can do flips and tucks and different stuff with these albums. I had so much fun doing this album. So glad she um, had me do this, because I really was thinking outside the box on this album, and it turned out gorgeous. In here, I just put this. It says life as a gift. And again, I used that washi and that trim. A little piece of that trim that was left. And a flower. I think this album turned out absolutely gorgeous. And I really hope you like it, Dana. Um, I think that you will. I mean, like I said, I am in love with it. Um, it is gorgeous. Um, I personalized it to you. So I hope you enjoy it. And until my next video, guys, bye.